gracious Heavenly Father, we just uh, come before you and thank you for your son. And uh, we just ask that you watch over this meeting, that we might make the decisions, uh, first and foremost, that is pleasing to you, but also uh, that is also beneficial to the city, citizens of this uh, of Hartford. And we just ask that uh, even though we might be different in opinions on subjects and, and our discussions might seem personal to, to each of us occasionally, uh, that we do uh, still walk away and go our separate ways as friends. And uh, in your name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. Uh, uh, first, do you have anything for us tonight on your... I mean, you're up there. That's just, okay. that's just there out of habit. That's no, okay. No, outside there of are me. no financial reports. Uh, first I am for... Uh, discussion is under old business uh, budget discussion. Anybody have anything you want to bring up about the budget? Hearing none, then we'll proceed on to water. Anybody have anything you want to bring up about water? I do have a question. I saw a report that showed us some bond issues that we have had over the last. 15 years, 10 yeah, years, whatever it's, uh, it's old three. My question is, is all that money in the budget underwater? Are they included underwater? Because if they're not, then all of a sudden our water numbers look worse than what they reflected on the budget. I can't answer one thing on some of the, about the bond issues and things. Mm -hmm. How much is it a year that the bond obligation is? 116000 But that's for four of them. Yeah. That all four. That's what your yearly obligations are yeah. on your water. On your wa and some of those water projects aren't strictly just the treatment plan either. I, I realize that. Because uh, after the last meeting, George and I got together in preparation for some discussions, and we were looking at that. And a good portion, at least of your most recent one, has more to do with your tank and distribution sy system. So... But it's my understanding all of them, the way they're built and tied together, most of them are paid out of water. So my question is, on the budget, when I showed income and expenses and there was a $216,000 difference, was all that, was that $116,000 included in that deficit or has that got to be added to it to create a larger deficit? My question. In other words, is water worse shape than I thought it was? She's looking it up right now. That's you? Mm -hmm. There's 69,000 and 1,500, which is 70,500 in water. What did you say? 70,500 in water. So that part is included. And there is fifteen seven ten in sewer, which is a seventy. It's eighty five. No, it's and fine. what I don't have in here is my estimated number for the bond series two thousand eighteen because I don't know that amount. And I. Um, you estimated. Yeah. But that number could that be number is that, not that number is close. I mean, you can run a you can run a uh, amortization schedule on a computer and come up with. But in the way that that runs out, the, you understand because some of this is goes up to 2058, the year 2058, and it's not a flat yearly amount. But what is that dollar figure for that last one? that's not included in the budget. Twenty five thousand dollars. So that number we had that was a deficit in water. You can add 25000 to that. Because I put that together yesterday. So. Okay, so uh, you guys met with the Ohio County Water, and it doesn't look like a good option for us to even consider that. Essentially, with their restrictions right now, their, their options, the only thing would really be to, uh, if you were to purchase water from Ohio County Water, they're not interested in leasing the plants because they already have two plants where they're doing production. So you would still have your obligations for your treatment plant here, plus the added indebtedness to purchase water. So while you're not saving anything other than labor dollars, you're really just adding to your expense on that particular area. 
So minus the labor dollars, it would not help us. No, I'd probably add more to you no. cost. They didn't. Are you allowed this? Uh, yeah, uh, some of the other options we had discussed. Um, George, what was the name of that outfit? The, the one in Parksburg? Yeah. He never did get back with me, but he told me on the thing. Okay. He mentioned Hardensburg City. They lease out and contract for the management of their water plant to a private entity to because if Walton them did it, it would all be PSC. And so for the, for them not to have to worry about that in Hardensburg, they have a private company that they contract out to manage them. And um, it seems to be working really well for them. So he'd mentioned he would get with George on that, on that information. Okay, so what is the plan with the new hire? He's coming in. He is coming might, in. I think you might want to wait on that one. Well, I figured, but here we are in open session, and I know when to discuss that. So let me, let me bring up one more thing before we go to that. It's my understanding is that uh, they wholesale water at what price? Um, uh, Hogan water, two sixty-eight. But they're looking at having a significant increase, potential significant increase. So. Uh, even if we were to buy water from them, it would be at a higher rate than 268. Okay. And I think they're looking at the three dollar plus. Right. Plus, their rates are already higher, much higher than ours. They're higher than our rates, so they would even their wholesale even, even their wholesale rate. So, so the water bills would be the same, and the only difference would be the employment, the labor. No, the well, wage would be. I mean, they would be. They would increase. Yeah. And George and same I, as in they would be bad. And George and I, when we had that discussion, he and I uh, had talked a little bit about even if you were to change your rates to match county water, you're going to help shorten that gap a little bit, and you're really not going to be outside of the. You're not going to be outside the realm of what people are accustomed to paying. So, you know, I talked about a rate change, but even at that particular point, that should probably at least be something you look at. But Anybody else? Anything about water? Not other than the closed session discussion. All right, we'll go into the new business. Uh, First item there is a closed session, so I'll entertain a motion and we go into closed session. So move that we go into closed session. Second. To, wait a minute, to discuss personnel and possible business entity discussion. Second the motion. Wait a minute, you didn't be there for that on there. That's the only thing that's in closed session. That's the only two things I can say. Now, underneath closed session, does it not say B, human resources discussion? Mm -hmm. No, that's no, not under that's closed session. That's not under there? That's okay. not close. All right. Where's the glasses at? I don't know. You seconded. Mm -hmm. All in favor. All right. Thank you. Hey, we're we're waiting on her. Can I? Can we go ahead and skip down the committee reports because I got a question. Committee reports. Yeah. Down the, all the, <laughs> can we skip down there? Because we don't have it all on there. Is that what you're asking? No, I just want to ask. I just want to make a, a notation or in Jan in January of this year. We had 3.3 inches of rainfall for 31 days. It cost us $81,000. Last year, 31 days, two tenths more, and it cost us $65,000. There is, it cost there us is no correlation. $16,000 more these, for less water. I have charted less these rainfall. things, and, and there's the no correlation the between the rainfall and the cost. That is freaking unbelievable. Makes no sense. <coughs> okay. Well, it means that I'm not a problem. Uh, the rates are the problem. The rates are the problem. That is correct. We have the next item of business is the human resources discussion. Anything you want to discuss? I think I've discussed okay. all the human resources I care Anybody to discuss. Anybody have anything on human resources <laughs> discussion? If not, that's the end of our agenda. So we have the information on there. Well, I have a statement I'd like to read. Okay, go ahead. <clears throat> to the legislative body of the city of Hartford, in accordance with the Kentucky Revised Statutes, 
I'm presenting you with my letter of resignation. This decision was made with much deliberation and consultation with those knowledgeable in matters of city government. This is, decision was made due to the issues, issues in the lack of policies and procedures necessary to carry out the work of the city. The council has struggled with several issues, but identified three specific concerns to deal with in a timely manner. The deadline for handling all of these has long since passed, and in some cases, because of actions of city officials, it has been made difficult or impossible to achieve. Decisions and actions continue with the absence of a set plan to attack the city's issues. Without major attention and change of problems, change problems will continue to escalate. I'm devoted to Hartford, but at this time, I feel continued service on this council is without merit. I hope to continue to serve the committee of the community and will seek to serve through other avenues. We have to accept that, Ms. Hunters. Okay. Um, entertain a motion to accept the resignation. I'll make the motion that we accept okay. the resignation. Second. All right. Any discussion? Seeing that we'll vote. All those in favor of accepting the resignation. All right. Thank you. All opposed. Did you, did you say that? you abstain? Can I abstain? We still have it. Okay. Motion's carried. I will uh, advise the council as you all are familiar. The resignation is not effective until the next council meeting. Uh, Yes. Ms. Sheffield, I'll ask on a personal note, do you still intend to help with the Harvest Festival? No, I do not. What? Mm -hmm. So we're back on schedule for the 28th? Like 21st. 21st. Remember, we rescheduled. Oh, that's right. I'm okay. Sorry. Yep, yep, yep. Sorry. Yep, yep. So that's considered a special call? Yeah. So we can only whatever's published and whatever's on the agenda. Better make sure you put whatever you want to talk about on the agenda. And what are you talking about? I'm sorry. I'm because we had because I was throwing away the gum that was in my hand. I apologize. We can only discuss because it's a change in the normal meeting time. We can only discuss the stuff that's on the agenda. <coughs> right. And then July we get back to normal. Yeah. So you're talking about June 21st? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Still five o'clock. Five o'clock. Is that right? Yeah. Anybody else have anything? I make a motion to adjourn. Wait a minute. No. I don't accept that. <laughs> well, any other time you'd be ready. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I just, I just have. Uh, I'm gonna let you know that I withdraw my name from the mayor's race for this fall. So um, I just need some more me time. And I just feel like it. Uh, I haven't been able to get it. So I've, had, I've already signed my papers to withdraw. December 31st up. <laughs> All right, now I'll change your motion. Well, I'll change my mind now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make a motion we adjourn. All right. A second. All right. All in favor? Thank you. Motion carried. We're adjourned. You get slow on the